our lies lead to a lot of people getting radicalized. Again, so it's an irrational fear of Muslims and immigrants and anybody who's who's who looks remotely like a Muslim. That was one of the protesters who greeted controversial American activist and commentator Pam Geller. That was at a Don Mill school tonight, and she was giving a speech there. Now, Geller has been accused of Islamophobia and for her views on uh, uh, including her strong support of the counter jihad movement, which is, believes that Muslims are slowly taking over America. Now, Britain has banned her, and some of the protesters we spoke to tonight feel Canada should have done the same. We're saying this kind of hatred leads some people to uh, attack other people. So it's not just speech, it leads to incitement, it leads to radicalization. And we're asking the government to do more because we're a multicultural society. And if we're, to, we're saying that we're a democracy, we shouldn't allow these figures. They're radical, they're fringe, but unfortunately they're becoming more and more mainstream. A heavy police presence there tonight, and times it outnumbered the protesters. There, just in case there was trouble, but there wasn't any. The only exception being the two sides trying to drown each other out with their loudspeakers. Now, as for the speech itself, we and other media were not allowed in, but it is likely Geller stuck to her views. She has been quoted that she has no problem with Islam, but has a problem with political Islam. Now, she has come under fire for calling on Islam to be officially classified as a political movement as well as a religion. And one man who was going in to hear Geller dismissed the protester, saying she is just promoting awareness of her ideology. I think it's important for us to get as much information under our belt as possible so that we're, when, when we're engaged in a conversation, we can actually present facts and logic as opposed to just rhetoric and emotional blabbering. I don't actually understand what Islamophobic means, to be honest with you. I don't really put any stock into that word anymore. So when they can define it in a more clear and upfront way, then maybe I'll put some weight into it. And Geller was one of the people cited in mass murder, the Norwegian mass murder Anders Breivik and his manifesto. But Geller says it's ridiculous that she or any other right-wing writers should be held responsible for his actions.